Hi everyone and welcome to another YouTube series. This series will be about web APIs and creating web APIs in ASP.NET Core. In this video, I will make an introduction of web APIs, their uses and some actual examples that show their importance. API first of all stands for Application Programming Interface. An API is a set of rules, protocols, and tools that allow different software applications to communicate and interact with each other. APIs can be used to access the functionality of an application or service, retrieve data and submit data, perform operations, or integrate different systems together. Web APIs, on the other hand, are APIs designed for communication on the web and are typically based on HTTP protocols. They enable applications to interact with web-based services, access resources, and retrieve or manipulate data. Developers can access web APIs by making HTTP requests to the API endpoints using different programming languages. The API will process the request, perform the necessary operations, and return a response, usually in a machine-readable format. This allows applications to leverage external services, integrate third-party platforms, or even build their own APIs to expose their functionality to other developers. Some useful and popular web API examples are Google Maps API, PayPal API, and OpenWeatherMap API. Google Maps API provides developers access to mapping and geolocation services. It allows you to embed maps into your applications, get directions, and many other location-based features. PayPal API allows developers to integrate PayPal payment functionalities into their applications. It enables you to process payments, create and manage invoices, retrieve transaction details, and perform other PayPal-related operations. There is also Open Weather Map API that is an API that provides access to weather data and forecasts for various locations worldwide. It allows developers to retrieve current weather conditions, five-day forecasts, and many weather-related information. This was a quick overview of web APIs, but we as developers are also focused on creating them ourselves. So this is what we're gonna be learning in the upcoming videos using the ASP.NET Core framework. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next one.